Ladies and gentlemen, this RedGamingTech.com video is aimed at you with sandy bridge setups, particularly the early revisions of the motherboard. Um, basically, early boards had a defect on their SATA controller, where most of the SATA ports would no longer function. Now, symptoms of this are that basically within BIOS itself, the hard drives or your optical drives will not be detected and it may also of course cause your PC to crash because basically the the drives will um, disappear from Windows and particularly if it's a system drive obviously your system will hang slash crash. Um, the reason I bring this up is because quite a few people now on forums have started to report problems are starting to you know rise and obviously for those of you who didn't send back the boards well you've got a couple of options. The first is the most expensive option, and an obvious one, to buy a new motherboard. You could do that. I believe that there was a returns policy issued for a while where you could return your board, but I believe that's well and truly passed by now, so you probably can't do that. Please someone correct me if I'm wrong by writing that in a comment, but I believe the active period of that is over. The other option is to buy a SATA card. SATA cards, there are a couple of options for them, um, including including the VIA 6421 SATA cards. These are only SATA ones, but they retail at about uh, £3.66 within the UK. They are notorious among the modding community for 360, but they also have another purpose. They're absolutely perfect for optical drives and also for regular mechanical drives. Generally speaking, um, most people are not going to notice the difference between SATA 1 and SATA 2 for mechanical drives, and particularly for optical. So if you happen to have, say, two hard drives and a DVD writer, for example, on SATA, this is a good option for you. You can also, of course, buy a SATA 2 card, however, they generally are a lot more expensive and buy a lot. Of, I'm talking about 20 to 30 pounds. Your mileage may vary within the United States, of course, or whichever residing country. You have another option depending on the amount of drives on your system, and that is simply that although pretty much all of the ports are affected, there are two that are not. So it's a pretty simple case of switching over your hard drives to those particular ports. Um, the only problem, of course, with that is if you happen to have two hard drives and, say, a DVD writer, you'll not be able to plug in the DVD writers, you'll only have two working SATAs. For the most part, obviously, some motherboards may have specific things generally, but, you know, I'm just talking general here. So, the best option in that case, of course, would be to buy the SATA card. However, if you've only got one hard drive, for example, a massive hard drive, like a, a one terabyte, two terabytes, or, you know, bigger, uh, and that's partitioned, obviously, and you happen to have a DVD writer, then you'll be fine for intermediate. And if you do have to buy another hard drive, then you can buy the Fire 6421 card, which is, you know, reasonable. It's a PCI card, so it doesn't take up any of your PCIe slots. Of course, if you want to get a SATA 2 PCIe card, that's great. It depends entirely upon the setup of your system. So this has not been particularly... Uh, big news to a lot of you I imagine, I'm pretty sure a lot of you within the PC community will know about this one, but in case you've been wondering why your system's been crashing or just acting a little bit off um, and you happen to have been one of the early adopters of the Sandy Bridge systems, this may give you a good idea, hey, you might have just thought to yourself, hey, you know what, I'm going to, you know, it probably won't affect me in the time, obviously depending on how much you're using your system. Um, and thrashing hard drives, that kind of thing. If you're one of those people who leave your system 24-7, particularly doing a lot of rendering or gaming, that type of thing, you'll probably notice your hard drives die or a lot quicker, or should I say the SATA ports die a lot quicker than someone who just uses a system every so often, which of course makes sense. So anyway, this has been a quick video, but quick and informative, I'd say. So anyway, um, thank you for listening, guys. Take care of yourselves, and bye for now.